In this video, I'll teach you how to do some pro effects like this fire hand effect. Or add text behind person. Or you can get your own twin sister. Why are you following me everywhere? How are you shopping where I shop? Or you can make small things become bigger. Or you can change your background. Or you can learn how to use the motion tracking tool. And I'll teach you all this and more in this video. So you need to get your book, your pen and jot things down. And make sure you save this video because you need to be coming back to it so that you can use it to practice. You know? And if you're watching this video, I would assume you already know the basics of CapCut editing. But if you don't, you don't have to worry. I have an in-depth video tutorial for beginners here. And in that video, I explained in details how to use every single tool on CapCut. So if you're a beginner and this video may seem, this video may seem a little bit complicated, I would advise you to watch it. But then after that, you can go watch that one for beginners and everything would come together. It, you, you would understand it better. I would also link it in the description box. But for now, let me teach you how to create this effect. Now to create your own clone, you have to follow the simple step. First of all, you have to film yourself doing two different things and make sure your camera and lighting is stable and you don't move it at any given point in this video. Now on InShot, open your first video, click on overlay and open the second video. Fill it up in the screen, don't zoom it out too much or too little, just the perfect size. Then go to the masking tool, scroll to the right and you'd see it, click on it. And then select this masking tool here. Then use your finger to rotate it. After that, pull this little thing here to get rid of the line. Don't pull it too much because it will be transparent. And that's basically how it's done. Now to create the motion track effect, go to stickers. Um, pick whichever sticker you want. I want to choose the clown sticker. This method can be used for anything, text, pictures, whatever you want. Whichever object you want to follow a particular object, you can use this method. Okay, I can reduce the size with my fingers. And the next stage is to scroll to the left. You would see tracking. Click on tracking make the tracking size more portable because it's looking so small it's looking too big yeah the size is perfect now put it on the object you want to track i want to track my face so i'm going to put it on my face and then put the clown on my face as well and then start tracking And it's done. It's that easy. You can use it to hide someone's face. You can use it to just put some fun thing on someone's head. It's just a funny, um, cute effect. Hand effect. To create the fire hand effect, you have to click on overlay. And you're going to overlay this video. I have the link to this video in my description box. You can download it so that you can practice along with me. Next step is to click on splice. Then select, then select filter. Then make the fire as small as your fist. I mean, make it to the shape of your fist, basically. The size should fit your fist. And then place it on your fist. Now, the next step is to add keyframe because we are going to make the fire bigger as I open my arms. So we have to add keyframe at the beginning. Click here. And then as the video plays, you keep adjusting the size of the fire. You don't have to keep adding keyframes. You just have to keep changing the size of the fire as the video moves on. And the app would put the keyframes for you. Now when you're done with that, the next step is to add the spark, the fire spark. And to do that, click on overlay again and overlay the video containing the fire spark i also have the link to that in my description box now you have to resize it to the full screen and then click on splice choose filter 
and it should look like this now obviously you can tell that something is missing and that is the sound effects the fire sound effects i also have the link to this in my description box so you can download it and use the audio so click on audio go to sound then go to files device and then you scroll through until you find your sound this is the sound here so now i'm going to be adding the audio to the part where i opened my arm to give it that dramatic fire effect you also need to add the masking too because the fire is kind of out of hand so i need to put it together so you go to the masking tool scroll to the right here yeah, this is it here go to circle and now we just have to keep adjusting it so here and go to mask we have to spread it out yes and then we pull this thing here to make to avoid the lines showing just a little bit because we don't want to make it too transparent and then go here also adjust the mask make it a little bit bigger then pull this line here a little bit just a little bit yeah, and just keep doing that till the rest just music basically you have to modify it to how you want it to look like and you're just going to be doing that using the masking tool and the keyframe and that's it to make small things become bigger we're going to use the keyframe tool but first we have to place whatever we want to grow this time around i want to use the text subscribe button because I want you to subscribe. If you if you have not subscribed at this point, I don't know what you want from me. So now we're going to make it small. I want to place it where I opened up my hands. Here, I'm going to add a keyframe. And then here, when my hand moves, I want to move this here, like this. And then here i want it to become big so i'm going to just go like this so all you need to do is just add keyframe at the beginning then you can continue to add changes if you want so now i have three different keyframes for the three different changes that is going to happen so now let's play and see or you can make small things become bigger now i want to change the text to a little bit bigger yeah so let's see it or you can make small things become bigger now to change your background from this to this open the background you want to use it could be an image or a video this is an image i got off the internet and then you overlay the video you want to edit the background or change the background go to overlay add overlay this is the video I want to overlay, so you have to expand it a bit to fill up the screen. And then the next stage is to remove background. So click on the video, go to remove BG. This is remove BG, then auto remove. And now you can see the background has background. Been changed. But I don't like the way this hair part goes like this. So let's see if we can adjust that. We go back to background, remove background, remove BG, custom removal. Let's go to brush and let's see if we can replace this hair. Yeah, let's just leave it like this. Okay, so now let's see how it goes. And look, now it is done. The, my background has been changed. And if you, if there's any parts that you don't see in your video for example when my hair was a little bit not showing you can always go to um, remove bg custom removal and use brush to replace any part that you want to show in the video and that's basically how you do it now you can also add text behind you and to do that you just simply go to text add text and let me type share because i want you to share this video share change the font to something else okay 
I like this one. So I'll make it bigger. And now you can place it wherever you want. Let me put it here. Next step is to, to add animation. So we go to animation. I'm going to so I'm going to add this pop-up animation. Yeah. Reduce the intensity of it. I mean reduce the seconds. And then in outro, I'm going to look for another effect. So I like this horizontal close effect for the outro. The next step is to export. Now open a new project. Now open the just edited video. Overlay the video without the text. Make it the full screen. And then you go to BG, remove BG. Auto remove. Text behind person. I can see a problem with the hair. I can fix that by going to remove BG. Go to auto removal. And in brush, use brush to bring back the hair you want bring back your hair i mean or whatever has been removed from the video that you want to bring back and now i'm going to brush back the hair i have to reduce this brush size because it's too big yes i think it's okay like this and that's how it's done you can so to create the zoom into the eyes effect open your video in CapCut and scroll to the part where you want the transition to start from i think i want mine to start from here and then you scroll to the right and you see freeze click on freeze yes and delete the rest now go to the beginning of the freeze frame and add a keyframe and then go to the end and zoom into your eyes as much as you can i think you shouldn't zoom that far because i tried zooming in that far and i couldn't find the eyes anymore so not too much just enough so i think this is enough let me see this is how it should look like okay i think it's good now so now we go to ease and this is ease here we can pick the first ease yeah now you see how smoothly the zoom in goes that's what ease is used for to make the zoom in smooth or to make whatever you use the keyframe for to go smoothly now the next step is to overlay the video we want to appear in the eyes so let's go to overlay add overlay so i want this video of me to Hello. appear in the eyes so i'm just going to rotate it so this is you have to move the video to where you want the transition to start and that is where you split where you created the freeze frame now the next step is to add mask so scroll to the right mask we're going to choose the circle mask because it's the shape of the eyes and then we're going to make it as small as the pupil really really small we're going to place it inside my pupil so now it's in my pupil we're going to add keyframe at the beginning and then we're going to keep increasing the mask as as the video goes on and then you continue doing it until you're done at the end okay so let's do this good once I found this sound effect, effect on CapCuts, you just simply go to audio, sound effects, 
then search for any transition sound you want or whatever mood you're trying to convey and you would find the perfect sound for you and that's it this video is mostly focused on how to use CapCut to create this fascinating effect. But there are tools on CapCut that you don't know exist. Like, like if you own a clothing brand, CapCut can actually give you a model for free. You don't have to pay any model. AI model is there for you. All you need to do is get the photo of your cloth and put it on the CapCut model. It's super easy. I have a tutorial on that. And in this video, I explained all these tools that you don't know about. Trust me, most of them, you don't know they exist and you don't know what they are used for. And in this video, I explained exactly what they are used for. And if you're a beginner, this video contains the tutorial for beginners. So if you want to know about CapCut as a beginner, how to edit, if you don't know the basics of editing, click on this video here. You trust me, it will be really helpful for you. And that's it for this video. Till I come your way next time, I remain your one and only Jessica Okolie. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Share this video.